Welcome back, I'm Ian. And I'm Mike. Thank you for all the feedback from last week's video when I asked you if you'd like to see me make some altered paper clips. Yes. Because I made some to go in that journal, which was purchased by Amanda. Thank you very much, Amanda. So, me and me, I've gone one a little bit further. <laughs> you wanted to see me make them. I'm going to make them, but I have two different sets. Yes, so you've created two different sets that they can purchase. Indeed. <laughs> so To make their own. Yeah, and they've got the MDF in there, the paper clips, prints, everything. Yes. So, without... Further ado, away. Got it right this week. Got it right this week. Let's go to the overhead camera and I'll show you what's in the pack and how easy they are to make. However, don't laugh at me when I make the tassel because it always goes wrong. <laughs> I'm sure they won't. Bentley's just come in actually to have a little look. He has. <laughs> and, he's have been, a look. and he's not got his collar on. He hasn't. He's nude because he got wet this morning. Oh, because it's been raining. It's been horrible. So these are the two sets. They don't look anything because you can see all the shadow. Mm. But I'll open the Art Nouveau one to start. It's my uh, favourite at the moment. I love <laughs> Art Nouveau, as you know. So in the set, you get the following. Put that there out of the way. So, you get one of them, two sheets, one of them, and one of them. So, on these, you've got the six covers to go on the paper clips. Right. I'll explain to you how they work in a minute. Plus, you've got nine frames, nine, um, um, what do I call them? Inserts for the frames. That's the one inserts is a good yeah. word for it, yeah. So, you get those, put the, the insert out of the way there from the packet. Don't worry about the paper clip scratching the print or making a mess of it because I've packed the ball pack separately. Yes. It's part of everything here. So, move that to there. So, you get the six large paper clips. These are the three inch ones, aren't they? I think so. I'll just have a quick mesure. That's apart from that's millimetres, that's not going to tell me inches, is it? Three. Yeah. Yeah. Three inches. Three inches. So, you get. Six, so they're six. about 77 millimetres, three inches. Yeah. yeah, so you get six of those. You also get your frames. The frames are cut out of two millimetre. Two millimetre of what? Um, a medite, which is like MDF, but it's more environmentally friendly. It is, and it's waterproof. Water is resistant as well. Yes. So you get two. Sorry, not waterproof, water resistant. Water resistant, so it doesn't yeah. blow like other MDFs. No, it doesn't. So you get two of the hexagons, so you get the frame and the back. Okay, and you can you can explain to the I will. what those are. I will. You get two square ones. Yep. And you get two round ones. You get six in total. So two hexagons, two, two he squares, and two not squares. Yes, two roundy squares. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll put those to one side, and I'll explain how it all works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you you being you, you didn't just go. Okay, let's just show them how to do these paper clips. You did. Take it one step further, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah. So we'll do the Art Nouveau ones. Can you pass me the cutting mat, please, Mike? The big black one. Big black one. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Let me alter the colour. So I go white or I go that side. Go black, so it's not going to affect the brightness of the, the, no, um, the camera. It's not going to try and focus on it no, too it's badly. Not. Okay. For some reason, it doesn't like white backgrounds when it's doing that. Mike's written his name on his reel because I keep stealing it. Yeah, and you, you're still using it. Yeah, I still stole it. Yeah. You want to come? So you'll see. On the card, you've got some little lines here. See those four? Can we, do we want to zoom in on those? Can you? You can see those? Yeah, just little lines at the top and little lines at the bottom. Yeah. I take it they're guides. Yes, they're the guides. Right, okay. Okay. What's the lines on the screen? Is it just a, the, cam the camera? So I'm seeing lines on top of my hands. Yes. That's clever, isn't it? It's your guidelines, so you know when, where the centre point of the oh, camera is. This is clever. I've, ne I've never noticed that before. <laughs> They're not going to be able to see that. No. So they won't know what you're talking no. about. No, no, sorry. <laughs> like when you look through a camera, you've got like that that um, tic tac toe, the knocks yeah. across his grid. That's what this is. That's what you can see on on I've the never screen noticed in it front before. of us. I've never noticed it before. <laughs> so we're just going to score up those lines. One. It's all printed on a 200 GSM card, so it's a nice weight. I love some of these William Morris patterns, I think they're absolutely beautiful. Yes. Okay, so that's, that's the duvet cover. Yours? Oh yes it is! Yeah. Okay, I'll just cut those two, I'll show you the two, just cut two out. One. It's 
called seaweed. Just in case you're wondering. What's the one I've got? What's mine called? Seaweed. My, is that, that mine? Is your, that, is, that is yours. Yeah, I thought I recognised it. I don't get out often. There we go. Let's cut down on that. Do we need a new blade? No, 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 we're fine. We're fine. Are you sure? Positive. I have some to hand. No, that's fine. Because we scored them, they'll just fold in half now, like that. That's good. So, that one. Mm -hmm. So, what's the measurements on these? The measurements are, well, they're already on the sheet, but I can tell you yeah, the size. Just in case. Yep, they measure 50 millimetres across. Which is about two inches. Yep. And they are two and three quarter inches high. Which is what in millimetres? Which in millimetres is... Because we've got to cater for all currents. 72 mils. Because <laughs> the, the, re the reason that they're this size is they fit... Designed to fit to those the paper, paper, clip, clips. paper clips. Yeah. So, what we'll do, all you need to do is put some glue on the back. I'm using double sided. Because you can't be trusted with glue. No, I'll get it everywhere. I did does, it. I did does it. He gets it everywhere. I do get it everywhere. So you run that down there. This is um, red liner tape or construction tape. Construction tape, I think. Knows. Yeah. That's what they call it, isn't it? Okay. It's what you do for build for making boxes and stuff. Yes. Okay, so just fold that. So you're folding it on on itself. So, so you're making like just in case anybody wants to know. So it's six mil or um, quarter of an inch. Yeah, cool. So that forms a tube, okay? Tube. A tube. So let's pretend I've done all those which are here. There we are. I did them all already, you see. And here's one I prepared. And here's one I prepared earlier. Yeah. Can you just straighten the cutting mat because it's really offending. Take the cutting mat out then we <laughs> don't actually need it now. Thank you. There you go. Okay, so with, with it not being straight, it was just <laughs> sending me eyes. So we've got all the tubes. Okay, that. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. You'll notice, I'll show you on the lighter one, there is a little black dot. Should we just try and zoom in a little bit? Yeah, go on then. Just we're just a bit, we're a bit far away, aren't we? Just get a bit tighter. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's better. Don't go mad. Hang on. Let's see if we can try and focus on it now. That's it. Excuse me. There we go. Look oh, at look that. at that. That's much better. So you can, I don't even have to show you now. So you can see there are little black dots. That one's there. <laughs> that, was that, one's there. And that one's there. <laughs> so the purpose of the black dots is when you slide it inside the paper clip into the insert, the small short one goes on the back, that's the short part of the mm -hmm. paper clip. And that little black dot lines up... A little black dot... Lines up with the... Um, if you put that on top there, it lines up so it's part way through in the middle. Yeah. Okay. So that's for the eyelet if you want to put it one is. in. It is. So I'm going to put an eyelet in, so I've brought the... Did you bring? I did. Very um, organised today. It's Thank most you. unusual. It is actually most unusual, you're right. Okay, so, quick tip. Don't put the eyelet in until because I did that. <laughs> until you've put the paper clip in. Yeah, because if you do, it won't go in. <laughs> I did it twice last week. I was telling Mike, I did it by mistake, and then I did it again. Mm. Just poke that out there. <laughs> right, so you can just put a hole in it. There, there we go. There we go. So with that, I'm going to put a little vintage one in there. You make sure you got the right back this time. Yeah. There we are. See now, that's splayed out on the back. That's so not going to go anywhere. The middle of the screen. That's sorry. It. I'm sorry about my fingers. They're all peeling. So that's splayed out there. Mm -hmm. So they've got that. And that's where you'll put your tassel through. We'll come to tassels in a minute. Okay. In the set, as we said, there are all the little frame sets. Okay. Yes. On your sheets as well, you have the frame. So that fits 
uh, an inch and three quarters. I think it's an inch and three quarters. It, it is, is an, an inch, inch and three, three quarters. quarters. That's just a, you can use a ruler just to cut that and that. And then of course you've got the others as well. So you get okay. six. Just to zoom out a little. Zoom bit. out a little bit. Oh, is that a proper TV? That right. Hang on. I just need to. It's going to. Screen's going to dim just a tad. There we there are. are. Beautiful. That's it. Lovely. So on there you get your nine little inserts. Okay. So what you do, you cut the inserts out. Mm -hmm. Just pass me. Um, do you want the cutting mat again? Uh, no, because I've already printed on the inserts. Right. Okay. I can okay. Show. So you're going to cut those out, and these stick onto there. However. If you paint them first, it's a lot easier. So give the edges a coat of paint. Are you going to do one? Yes, I am. All right, so you are going to need the magnet. I am going to need that. I'm going to do a square one, I think. OK, I did have, do you know, I was just going to say, I did have a small A4 green cutting mat, and I don't know where it's gone. Hmm. I just found it. Could it be that one, perhaps? Yeah, use the other side, though, because that's dirty. Dirty. So, in the set, this is the Art Nouveau one. So mm. I'll, I'll run through the floral one next. Did you remember to get the three quarter, one and three quarter inch circle punch out? I'm going to, I'm not using the circle, I'm going to do a square mic. Do the hexagon. The hexagon, okie dokie. So I'll do... Just to keep you on your toes. Thank you, Mike. One. Never want to choose the easy option. When somebody else is concerned. When somebody else is <laughs> So... If you want to use scissors, you can use scissors. Yeah, it's not like the huge. Also, you don't have to be that fussy when you're cutting it because if you cut a little bit inside out, it doesn't make any difference because when you put the frame on... Oh, it's going to hide a multitude. It's going to hide it all. And if there's a little bit of paper sticking out, you ah, can always just... Trim it off or... Use an emery board. Indeed. So that's that one. A hemery board. And that one. So I'll just put that there. Just take that back, mate. Thank you very much. There you go. I'm going to put that somewhere safe so that I okay. remember where it is next time. And I've even remembered my paint, my little paint tray. Okay. So I'm using the paint I'm going to use is the Indigo Blue Goldfinger. Metallic. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. I love it. So it. Metallic acrylic paint. It covers. You don't need a lot. As you can see, it's quite um very juicy. Well, I was going to say almost in pasto, kind of heavy bodied. So we're just going to paint on the outside. This Medite um, MDF type material is fantastic for painting. Yes. This particular Medite, believe it or not, is made from the sawdust from Irish sawmills. Yes, it is. So. I'm using the sponge dauber as usual because. As you know, if you've seen videos before, I love... It's that kind of stippled effect on it, it isn't is. it? It is. So that's that one. Yep. A little bit more of the, the paint. Are you going to do both sides? No, you don't need to, because one of them's covered up by the print. Of course it is. So... Well, duh. So I just paint... There we are. So it covers really, really easily. Do you, do you need the heat gun? I will do in a minute, yes. Because I've put that away as well. Have you? Yeah. yeah. I've been very tidy. It has been very tidy. Tidy workroom. Most unusual for me. You don't look at my desk. So, there we are. So that is the inside painted. Then just do the outside. Like that. If you miss a bit, don't worry, because you can pick that up when you're finished. Mm. I know you're using gold paint, but you can use anything really, can't you? Well, you can whatever colour, whatever paints you've got in stock. If you, well, yeah, you could colour coordinate. Yeah, you could. Whatever the cover colour is for your journal, you could always coordinate the paint with that. Of course that. you could. Um, just a little bit, can I have a wet wipe? Do we have any wet wipes? Wet wipe, there in front of you. Excuse me a moment while I reach across. Thank you. So I'll just move that to there. Let's wipe that up. Wipe my fingers. And I'll just give it a quick blast over with the heat gun. Right, there's the heat gun, so you'll have to plug it in. All right, okay. Just plug it in there. I'll plug it. Ooh, look at this. It's a bit difficult. Now I've actually got plug sockets on the desk. 
How does it work? Uh -oh. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Sure, will to hear me. So I'll just try this off. There we go. Okay, I'll put that there on the floor. Is that all right, Mike? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So I have my little insert. Is that dry? Yeah, well, that's clever, that, isn't it? <laughs> um, Anybody think? I'm going to on? use this. Check it up first. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is just PVA. So, yeah, just a bit of PVA. I use glossy accents downstairs. But you don't need to. Yeah. PVA is probably better for wood anyway. It is. So you're just going to line that up on top of that. Okay. So this has just got just that right amount of faff, hasn't it? Oh, we like a bit of faffing. There we are. So that goes on there. And then the frame then goes on top. What was, what I was saying to Mike earlier is the fact that if you were doing this and you, you got them all glued down, mm. you could actually fill them with glossy accents. And they make little, and you could then make like little cabochons with them. Little shinies. Little shinies, yes. Right, so there we are. I'm not using that. So I'm going to pull, I'm going to stand all the paint off. What I'm going to do is what I did before when I've done my other set. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to paint it with exactly the same paint that I've just used. All right, just going to go around the edge. And just go around the edge. No need to wash the, uh, the bushes, etc. Right. Okay. Because you could, you could actually use the emery board, but it will take the paint off. Yeah. So, or you could use a gold pen if you wanted. I was going to say, I found my um, Uniball gold, metallic gold paint pen. I thought, oh, that might be useful. It does work, strangely enough. Excellent. Usually, when they've been left for a couple of years, they're dry. But see now. Very good. It's disappeared. So. Da -da -da -da. So that's. Do you need to give it a quick blast again? Yes, I think so. Just a little quick blast over just to uh, to set it all. Voila. Et voila. So I've got that one. Just put that one. Oh yeah, I've got there. So we've got. So I've done all the others already. I wanted to show you these. So these, that's that one there. Two, three, four, five. You've done some in different colours. Yeah, so what I've done is I've just used some that this one's Americana paint, it's the metallic silver pewter type paint. Oh okay. okay. So you've got so you've got your circles. But how different do they look when they're all yeah when they're all like that? So what we've got we've got our little paper clip covered, and I'm going to use I think I'm going to use that one. Okay. Very nice. So what I'll do is I'll just get a little bit more PVA. <coughs> Pardon me. Just put some PVA on there, just like that. Don't need too much. Let's remember to put the pin back in. Yep. There we go. I did that the other day and stabbed my finger. Do you? I know. So we'll just put that onto there for a moment. To set. Okay. So are you going to do all six or are you just going to do a... I'm just, just going to do a couple. I'm just going to do a couple. So okay. we've got that one. And we've got one of the other inserts. Oh, they're all done. They're yeah. all just folded. Can I pick? Yes, which would you like? To? Can I, that, that black seaweedy one? Yes. Right, and can we do it with the silver circle? We can. So again, the small part goes over the top. What I'm going to do this time, I'm going to punch it first. Does that make it easier? A little bit. Not a lot, but it's, it, you can see better what you're doing. Okay. There we go. So as you see, a little black hole in the middle. That. Through there. So top tips and handy hints. Top tips and handy hints. So do it, do it first. 
There we are. That's it. Make sure the smaller part of the paper clip goes on, on the, the back. back of the paper That's right. where you've joined it. That's right. Okay. Okay. So then we'll get another. Do we have a, a darker coloured one? We've got that one. Oh, nice lovely. And dark. So we have that. So just line it up with the crop with the uh, is it crocodile? What does it call this? Crocodile. Crocodile. It says on the box. Yeah, it does. It is a crocodile, but it's an eyelet something or other. I've had it years. Yeah. So remember that's how it is on the back. Okay. And you like which one, Mike? The um, the round one. That silver circular one there. Yeah. So a little bit of glue to come out. You don't need a lot of glue. Yeah. And they are incredibly, incredibly. There we are. Put the top back. <laughs> they are incredibly, incredibly light. Don't worry about her. I, I, when I was painting her, I put my finger on her face, and she's now got. Do you know if you hadn't have said anything, don't think anybody had noticed. Well, I had to point it out, you know. Just in case. Just in case somebody says she's got no, she's got brown, she's got a blue face. So make sure they're in the middle. Okay. PVA so, is does dry transparent, so. Which is great. A little bit of wiggle room. Yeah, so that's those two. Not a huge amount. So there's two. Okay, so are we going to leave those to dry for a few minutes? And we then will, and, and I'll, I'll, go, I'll run through the other set, the butterfly set, while they're drying. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah, fine. Because I have two sets to share. Okay. Okay, so I'll just put those up there out of the way. I'm going to put them on the shelf, that way you're not going to knock them. I'll put them on the shelf, then I'm not going to knock them quite right, Mike. There we are. There we go. So we'll move those out of the way. So they're the other ones. Right, so that's the, what you call these, the Art Nouveau set. Art Nouveau set, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So there's also the second set, which is, where have I put it? There in front of you. That. <laughs> the second set is the floral, butterfly and floral. So in this set, again, you're going to get exactly the same as in frame wise. So you're going to get six frames, two, six, frame, six, two, frame, six backs. Six frames, six backs, six paper clips. But this time, you've got the most beautiful butterfly. Oh, they'd be ideal for like field note journal. Oh, yeah. They? But what I've done with these ones is your wraps are plain they're vintage paper mm -hmm. because when you've done that before you make them up stamp them ah okay so you could have um some maybe some tim holtz uh, uh stamps of the he has some with butterflies and beetles on and yes yes it does yeah um, you could, uh, like entomology set. Entomology or rulers, you could stamp anything on yeah, there. Yeah, there's also, I think, is it the menagerie stamp as well? I think it is. Has got like the, the stacked butterflies yeah. with scripts and that kind of thing. So you've got all those, but these, when they're made up, are beautiful. Let's do the squares first. After. You get nine, so you can pick and choose. Mm. The ones you don't use, put them in your stash. Yeah, they can be used for other things. So you've got. I love these like little mini frames, aren't they? They're like little precious things. Yeah. So you can you can also How big are the squares? The, the wind the squares themselves? Yeah. Squares thirty five mils. Forty five mils. Right, it's almost two inches. Yeah. How cute. They just look so dinky. Yeah. So they're they actually make just nice little brooches those on their own. Some <laughs> when I was doing them, um when I was having them cut, I thought, oh, these would be really nice as jewellery. Yeah. So you get those. <laughs> you also get... Um, Put a little brooch pin on the back. <laughs> you also got round ones. A crackle on the front as well. Oh, oh that'd oh, be lovely. Oh, oh. And you've also got... Yeah, so these are like a pheasant bronze or a pheasant gold because they're a little bit ready. Like, like a mixture of yeah, like they're, the, rose gold. they're the gold gold right so it's like a rose gold like a rose gold yeah but i mean those to be honest with you those on a little front of a journal on their own yeah stacked would be beautiful yeah. just put one on top of the other yeah. yeah just those on the front of a journal look really really nice so multi-use really multi-use so yeah so they're the six that you get with your butterflies so Let's come back to the matter in hand. Tassels. 
Oh, yes. Do, do we need to have a tidy up? I think we'd better have a tidy up. I'm trying okay. to put some bits away. Let's, let's tidy up and then we'll be right back. Have we tidied? We've had a little bit of a tidy. Still a mess, <laughs> but we've had, well, you can't see what hurt you. <laughs> so, these are the two we're going to work on. See? So, put those up there. So, what, Mike, what I've got is I've got some of Mike's embroidery thread that he uses for when he's doing his journals. And what I'm going to do, I just need to open it out because it gets incredibly tangled if you're not careful. Let's have a look. There we are. That's it. Okay. Do you know what? What? I just grab the, um, the loose thread and just pull it. Yeah, and then it goes a big knot. Right, so what I'm doing is I've got a ruler. The ruler measures two inches across. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get my scissors and just trim. These are these Tim Holtz rulers that are never, that are never supposed to no, be you're supposed to put a bit of tension on them. Right, okay. So, I'm going to put it onto there. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the, the thicker the material, the wider the material that, that you're wrapping around, yeah. the bigger the tassel. Don't go too small because they're an absolute nightmare because you can't keep on, you can't actually hold on to them. So, I'm going to go around, full round 20. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, see what I mean, 19, 20. That's it there. So Needed a couple of extra for good measure. I put one extra on for good measure, yeah. Okay. Done? Yeah. Okay. You'll need some more of that though, won't you? Yes, just leave it there if you would. Okay. These are kind. Okay, so what you can do is you get your paper clip, put your paper clip underneath. There's the. So you have to catch. You have to catch it. So what you've got to do is you have to put a piece of this through. I'll just. You could use a needle, couldn't you? Oh yeah, a needle would be much easier. We'll Hang do on. one. There's one here. I've done it. Oh yeah. Don't cut it too short. If you do, again, it becomes a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. So, so we're going to pull that to this end. Okay. Okay. I know that's to hanging down there. It doesn't matter. So, we're going to take that. That's the flat. That's the last piece. We'll put that on flat on there. So, you've got, this is the loop that's gone, gone through all the twine. Mm-hmm. And going to tie a knot in it. Don't worry about that. Does the, does doesn't really matter whether the knots on the end or in the middle, really, does it? It's easier this way because when you're going to trim them. Oh, okay. Right. So then, tight like that. So you've got a loop and it's tied at the top. Can we just? That's it. Turn it around that way. So that's the bit that you've just just tied. Tied. Or is that the bit that's just tied? Yeah. It's either, it's either those two bits. That's it. It's those two bits there. All right, okay. These are just the, the flaps <laughs> on the bits the, that are left. Right, so they're the two end pieces. They're the two end pieces. Okay? So we'll just do that. There we are. Okay? Yep. So now, what you've got to do is you're going to slide it off. Don't cut it when it's on there, because if you cut it when it's on there, you'll have some, some long fringing and some short fringing. Of course you will. Yeah. So, I've got that. So we now grab hold of that, just gen gently persuade it. persuade it to go down like that. That's it. Okay. So then your ruler again, put that on to there. You need another piece. And that slides under there. You want it about I would say probably just under half an inch. Okay. That'll give you the the thick bit of the pump of the tassel at the top. Right. So we tie round. I've never made a tassel before. Oh yeah? No. Like that, oh yeah? I've always bought mine. Well they're a fair price when you try and buy them. Well you can never find the right size. Oh they're right, either, colour. They're either too big or the wrong colour. That's right. So this is perfect. So. We're just going to put that through again, so we just need to tie it again. 
we just pull that please Mike? That one. Yes please, just lightly. Hang on. Beautiful. And pull. There we are. There we go. So, looks a bit dog-eared but it will do for a minute. So now you've got the top of your, your fat piece of your... The head? Yes, the head of your tassel. So now, just cut that. Okay. So. So you're just going to feed your. I'm just going to cut. In a semicircular. Ah, you see, I would have just put the blade straight in. No. And then cut. No, 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 no. If you do that, you end up in more of a mess. got more control over the shape of it. You have, you can sh shape it. So now you've got a little tassel. <laughs> so you can do that in any of the colours of thread. You could actually mix threads. You could have white and cream or white and pale blue or teal. You can also use metallic threads. Mm, I'm going to make that noise again. What's that? Huh. Huh. As in, huh. So this Having never done that before. So this one's going to go on that one. Okay. Oh, so okay. all you need to do is pop that through there. Take it that's dry now. Yes. We'll find out in a minute if it drops off. <laughs> so there, like that. Could you mm -hmm. just tie those pieces together to create a loop and then just feed it through and then back on itself yeah, again? Yeah, of course you could. Yeah, you could. But I suppose you've got more control over the dangle if you do it like that, the, yeah. way, the way you've done it. Just a little bit. Just forget I ever said anything. No, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a fair point that you could. You could also attach, if you wanted, attach the the, the, the tassel to that part of the paper clip so it hung down on the other side. On the other side. Yeah. So let's just trim that one. Two. I would put a little bit of glossy accents or something on there just so it doesn't come just, undone. Just to stop it. Yeah. So now you have. Well, look at that. Who would have thunked it, eh? I'm actually really impressed. Like I said, never having made a tassel before in my life, I'd probably make a complete dog's dinner of it. <laughs> you wouldn't. It's They're easy to make. Very easy to make. So, do we have a journal we can just pop that in just so people can see one? Yes, we do. We do. We do. We have our tested journal, don't we? We do. I think last week when we were talking about the thick journal that we couldn't close, this is it. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is the, oh, this is the, the big journal that I the, made. The, the mega journal. Yeah, that's got <laughs> millions of pages in it. So, can you zoom out a little bit, Mike, so yeah. I can just... Uh, Hang on then. Get a bit more in the shot. Mm. La, la, la. Okay, there thank we you. Go. Okay, so... Even without the tassels on, they still... Yes. Let's, let's find some that... There we are. They still look really good, so you're just going to do that and slide it in. Oh, look at that. You see, what you could do, you could put a jump ring on, and put charms on them. Yes. So yes, if you, you got a, a, little, a big jump ring, yeah, you could hang charms on it of mm -hmm. uh, little jewels and stuff. You could, yeah. Basically, once you've punched all in, you, you can do what you like. But how pretty are they? That's really nice. And then of course, let's just make sure we don't rip the page. Just if you dig it in a little bit with it being a new paper clip. We twist it to the right. Yeah. There That's we go. It. And then. The one with the tassel we'll put on there. Again. I mean, for bookmarks. Yeah. If you're raising money for church or you're raising money for a charity, why not make bookmarks or page holders for when people read and sell those to raise money for church? They're really good. Or charity. Or, or a little stocking filler for Christmas. You can always put a photograph of a loved one. Um, or a dog. Yeah, or a dog or a puppy a loved dog. One. A loved one. But imagine <laughs> that filled with glossy accents or resin. Yeah, or some of that crackle glaze. Yeah, it would look amazing. And what's also good is you can distress them all. It's just MDF. Yeah. Um, painted with acrylic paint. Get your, your um, 
your Tim Holtz inks out and get get them grunged up a bit. Or, or your stays on permanent solvent ones. But how pretty is that? Yeah, looks really, really good. I'm very pleased with those. Considering very, very it's just pleased. a humble paper clip. Yes. It now looks like it's going out for the evening. It is, it's all dressed up, ready to go. Mm. So, Absolutely. So that's my project for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I mean, these are on the website now, aren't they? What? My website. The paperclips? Paperclips, yeah. Yes, because you did it earlier, didn't I you? I did. <laughs> so the uh, web address will be below. That there, but there'll be a clickable link in the description area below, as per. Don't forget there are two sets. There's the Art Nouveau ones, and then the beautiful butterfly ones too. Yes. So you, just to, to recap, so you get in six of the metal paper clips, you get in six of the frames, two of each shape, plus the backs, backs. plus the two mini sheets with the embellishments and, and the cards and the wraps, wraps on, yeah. in the pack. What a so bargain. You, you can make your own. Obviously you've not put any of the threads in for no, the, the for threads making. Go, it can go online or go to any of uh, Hobby Lobby or yeah, Joanne's. Just, yeah. There's just no point in supplying those because they're so cheap. Yeah, there is. So that's the project for today. Thank you very much. Hope you've enjoyed it. I can't remember the subscribe bit, Mike. <laughs> Don't forget to give the video a, a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to the two hour YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from us for now. We'll be back again very, very soon with another project. I'll be back next week. <laughs> Bye for now. like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible and don't forget to check out your exclusive angel only content over on my website thank you